The New York Times has independently confirmed a key claim in the Hunter Biden whistleblower saga. Gary Shapley, a lead IRS official in the Biden probe, alleged that U.S. Attorney David C. Weiss, the lead Department of Justice prosecutor on that case, was rejected by federal prosecutors in Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles when he requested that Biden be charged for tax crimes committed in 2014 and 2015 in those jurisdictions. In a June 27th report from The New York Times, writers Glenn Thrush and Michael S. Schmidt write in the 21st paragraph, quote, in mid-2022, Mr. Weiss reached out to the top federal prosecutor in Washington, Matthew Graves, to ask his office to pursue charges and was rebuffed, according to Mr. Shapley's testimony. A similar request to prosecutors in the Central District of California, which includes Los Angeles, was also rejected. Mr. Shapley testified. A second inform a former IRS official who has not been identified told House Republicans the same story. That episode was confirmed independently to The New York Times by a person with knowledge of the situation. This was written in a story detailing the competing accounts of Attorney General Merrick Garland and the IRS whistleblower. Garland has denied the whistleblower's claims. Now, Shapley is defending his claims and going even further. In an interview with CBS News last night, he uh, says he was stopped from pursuing leads. Let's watch some of that. True's father. There were certain investigative steps that we weren't allowed to take that could have led us to President Biden. And you wanted to take them. We needed to take them. And you weren't allowed to take them. That's correct. Shapley. So this is all a little bit complicated. Sure. Uh, but the gist of it is that this is Shapley, that IRS whistleblower, is claiming that the investigation was not handled. Republican, uh, not handled well. Republicans are upset with Merrick Garland. I think there have even been efforts to, like, impeach him or it's been talked about. The concern is, did Merrick Garland, the Biden attorney general, get in the way of David Weiss, who was retained by the Biden administration but had been selected during the Trump years to pursue the Hunter Biden issues? Did Merrick Garland get in the way of that? And there are now some quasi-competing claims here. Uh, David Weiss himself has not been particularly vocal on, on if, if, if it's his view that Garland really obstructed him. He hasn't quite come out and said that. In fact, I think he submitted a letter saying everything was kind of all hunky-dory. I think that's the second time I've used that phrase on the show today. I don't know what's <laughs> going on with me. I'm for David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, and, and so we need to hear from Weiss ultimately, and yeah. I, I think Republicans should ultimately bring him before the weaponization of the federal government committee. But now here's the New York Times saying that it's not just Shapley. There is another IRS official that they have independently confirmed who—, who also has spoken to the fact that there was pushback, from, if, if not from Garland himself, but from his people in L.A. and D.C., who, who, despite Weiss wanting to pursue charges there, said no. Yeah, so this is a real he said, he said situation where your view of what happened has largely, up until this point, fallen along your feelings of partisan credibility and the various actors here. So the argument that's being made by Biden affiliates, Democrats, left-leaning liberal people or whomever, is that if a Trump-appointed figure did not pursue these charges, there must not have been anything there, Republicans are saying, well, no, he was rebuffed. And Weiss, to your point, being silent, this was kind of neutral. Now having a a sensibly lib liberal uh, paper like the New York Times independently confirmed the story that there was an effort by prosecutors to bring charges that were, in fact, rebuffed, lends credibility to that claim, and doesn't necessarily go against what Merrick Garland is saying, that the claim never rose to him. But there's a lot of plausible right. deniability here. And if it were the case that somebody in the Justice Department thought that this, um, these, these crimes, these alleged uh, tax violations were worth escalating and they were stopped, that obviously feeds the flames of conservatives right. who are accusing Democrats of having political prosecutions. Because Garland has said that, well, if David Weiss really wanted to bring charges and, and the, the relevant authorities in those municipalities said no, he would allow, he would make it so that he could do it anyway, that Garland would make it so Weiss could bring those charges anyway. Weiss could have asked Garland for special attorney status to go over the local people's heads. He didn't end up doing that. Um, but again, it might have been him. Maybe it's communication. Maybe he thought, maybe he didn't get that he could do that. 
we have a lot of questions that yeah. um, that Weiss needs to face um, about this specifically. I find it interesting the way the New York Times framed this whole article. Mm. They, again, they got a great scoop. Mm. Oftentimes, they're good reporters. They they they, they possess the um, the cra the tools, the craft of reporting. Yeah. Buried paragraph, so many paragraphs down that I had to read it like several times. And I'm like, wait, wait, where's the scoop? They're saying it's a scoop. I don't see the scoop. Yeah. It's down there. Yeah. They, it's not in the headline. It's it's not led with. It's 21st, the producer's saying it's the 21st paragraph. Um, yeah. one, one wonders, again, don't want to be conspiratorial about it, but one wonders if there's something like, oh, this is kind of bad for Biden. Let's yeah. keep that. Well, and specifically, what Shapley has said is that, you know, there's this team found evidence of, and this is from uh, New York Post reporting. Evidence of several illegal business expenses during the course of the in investigation um, and suggested that the evidence of alleged crimes perpetrated by Hunter likely would have landed any other person in prison. Uh, there were personal expenses that were taken as business expenses, prostitutes, sex club memberships, hotel rooms for reported drug dealers. Um, and Shapley went on to say that Hunter was found to have owed $2.2 million in taxes to the federal government. So it's understandable given the color of what uh, Hunter is being accused of, why the Biden yes. administration would not want to be getting into the nitty gritty of those particular alleged crimes in the middle of a, an election season. But to go back to an earlier segment uh, that we did today, this is partly why so many people just wish that there was more openness in the primary process. So there wasn't a potential effort to suppress what should be a legitimate legal investigation right. and the effort of protecting a Democratic Party nominee that doesn't actually have to be the Democratic Party nominee. And the conservative concern is that if they're willing to say, no, don't take this any further about tax issues, maybe they're saying, no, don't take, willing to say, don't take this any further about m more serious issues of, uh, of influence peddling or that these tax issues would themselves if pursued, mm -hmm. would uncover evidence, in the course of yeah. adjudicating that evidence of a much more serious crime. Right. So it's um, right. It's very, very disturbing. Very interesting. Interesting how the media frames it, yeah. uh, but shows that there there is more. I know people may be getting tired. I don't know if they're getting tired about the Hunter Biden investigation and what's being promised and what's being. But this is a significant finding yeah. of a potentially badly handled investigation. It shows the necessity of Republicans to competently evaluate and pursue knowledge into what's really going on in our justice system. And I do think that liberals have to keep in mind, as they are confused about why there would be continued support for Donald Trump while he's in the midst of his own investigations, it's because to those who are in a different media environment, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, the implications of influence peddling unsubstantiated as of yet, as they are, are still in many people's minds equivalent, balancing out what Donald Trump is going th going through. And if you're looking at the substance of these crimes and you're saying, OK, well, maybe Donald Trump did wrongly keep these documents. Maybe they were confidential documents and he shouldn't have had them. But what is ultimately what feels like a, a it's a paper crime, a, mm -hmm. a an administrative crime on one side compared to these allegations. As yet unsubstantiated, but allegations of influence peddling are going in the public imagination to cancel out. And I do think that sometimes liberals in their siloed media circuits where they're not at all discussing what's going on with Hunter Biden, except to compliment Joe Biden on what a good father he is, which I think is legitimate, that is true at the very least. They are missing out on a big half of the story that explains a lot of voter behavior right now. Mm. All right, we'll continue to follow this, of course, and we'll have more rising right after this.